MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. I'm joined by Dan Plezak. And Dan, as we get things going this season, it's pitching that has to be key if this team's going to have success. Hey, just like any team, pitching is going to be the key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs, but putting together some quality outings early in the season could do wonders for this club getting out of the gate with a good start. The games count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. A.J. Burnett gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What do we need to know here, Danny? We're looking at one of the top pitchers in the league right now. ERA just above three last year, which is saying something. This guy commands the strike zone. He's not afraid to throw strike one, controls the running game. A real solid pitcher. And if he pitches like he did last year, expect more of the same in this campaign. And spring training is officially behind us now as the first pitch of the season is looked at for ball one. First pitch, four ten. Slow roller out to short. Gonna be a tough play. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. The pitch giving rolling. So next to the plate for the Phils, Jimmy Rollins. First pitch coming, here it is. Burnett has hurled more than 2,700 major league innings in his career, and having compiled north of 2,500 strikeouts, he's in great company alongside some of the all-time names like Christy Mathewson and Bob Feller. Fastball and oh he has to bend out of the way of that one. Lots of sunshine in the forecast. 83 degrees here at first pitch. Fouled off. The 2-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Dan, I know I was an offensive player, but I'm okay being a pitcher's umpire. If you're going to consistently pound that outer half, James Kingsley's usually going to give it to you. Hey, listen, there's a reason why the pitchers throughout the league, they call him the king of the hill. You move the ball a little bit off the strike zone, he's not afraid to put that arm up. He's a very good pitcher's umpire. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Down the left field line and deep. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. 3-2 pitch. And he lays off here, ball four. And he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. And that's the beauty of having a guy in the two-hole like him. He's almost like another leadoff hitter, working a walk with just one out. And I think there's a good chance that he's going to be on the move at some point. Striding into the box, Bryce Harper. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Now a throw over by Burnett, but the runner's back easily. First pitch of the at-bat. Sinker gets the outside for a strike. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. 
And there he goes towards second. Pitch inside the throw, and it skips in as he steals the bag easily. I think coming into this series, they knew he was one of the guys that were going to have to keep quiet. But he's setting the tone right here in the first with the steal of second. He could end up being a big factor. Here's the 1-1. Counting two and one. think in this situation maybe with a base open he'd just pitch around them and put him on first but not with the guy in the on deck circle he's going to attack this hitter the 3-1 and this pitch misses here as well back to back walks now but at least that'll put the force back in order here some guys take a little time to find the zone but with the second walk of the first inning it might be a little more than just settling in here not sure how long of a leash they'll give him but they're not going to let him walk the world out there coming to the plate now Mike Schmidt and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here first pitch of the at bat on its way Count one and oh. And he'll take this one as well. It's now 2-0 to the Philly third baseman. A time to start making some pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. First and second now, one man out. Too tight with that one. 3-0. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. That one's in there, three and one. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. The 3-1 is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now, three balls and two strikes. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Burnett checks. Now the pitch. misses ball four and he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble that's a big no-no he obviously had to work carefully with two men on but he did not want to walk him to load the bases now he's really got his work cut out for him we'll see how he fares here and digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton great chance to drive in a run here in the early going Here's the first pitch to him. In there, 0 and 1. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Starting to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound, and to check swing and not chase that one puts himself right back in the count. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Rollins at third. Harper over at second. Schmidt at first. One gone. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. A tag for one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. So the bases are loaded here, two men gone, and that'll bring up the big bat of Paul Goldschmidt. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Two out, bases loaded.
Right taken as that one catches the outer part of the play. Goldschmidt, or Goldie just for short, he was an eighth round selection back in the 2009 MLB draft. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Phillies leave them loaded, and now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. Robin Roberts is on the mound for the season opener on the road in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, looking at the numbers, you can see this guy had an ERA over four last season. He'd like to do a lot better than that. He's got to do a much better job of keeping base runners off the bases. Cut the walks down and try to limit the hits per nine innings pitched. Stepping in, Juan Pierre. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now here runs up and gets this one down but uh, this is foul for the first strike into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 Eight, two. let's get it going boys somebody's loose hitting 98 with ease in the first inning Marlins had their first hit of the season. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He's locked. Touch he has top. great bat-to-ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack zero of being able to get the barrel to the ball, and this is one of those guys. Prior to the at-bat, a check on first. And again, a throw, oh, keeping great. particularly close tabs on him. Into the box now, Hanley Ramirez, as he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. The 1-0 home. Strike called. Now the throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Well, they threw over there multiple times thinking he was going to try to swipe that bag. So they were onto him, but he just waited it out and took off when he had the chance. Nice job of base running there. The 1-1. One -one. Ball on that down. No one out with a runner at second. Popped him up. Here for it is Segura to make the play. One gone. That is third. The first baseman. Miguel. Cabrera. Ready now for the Marlins. Miguel Cabrera. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the stretch. All one. That's by him for strike one. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Ready with the 1-1 one -one pitch. Swing and a ball pulled foul into the lower level and left. Yeah. 
working for the punch out and the offering hey if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy that's right where you want to miss any lower and he'll probably make you pay for it he's set and the 2-2 pitch on a line that's a base hit and he's safe Throw comes into third now, so they're at the corners here with only one out. Hey, maybe we have something brewing right here. That has to be the case. When you're facing an elite level A starter, numero uno, you have to find a way to get to him. Any chance you get, maybe this is their opportunity here. So here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Manny Machado, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. As a look, now the pitch. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. Here comes the 0-1. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. swing here but this is in there for a cold strike too big pitch coming up right here he'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout runners are at first and third one away and he'll try to hold back but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing and there are two away now fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around that according to the umpire sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down and that appeared to be the case there trying to hang a zero here's the pitch Fudge Rodriguez is in with two away as he takes a ball one and oh One and oh, here it is. Yeah. It's out. One and one. Takes this the other way to right. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Boy, talking about picking your teammate up after that strikeout, that hero. Good. Big, big, and I mean big, two-hard RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside it, stayed through the baseball, and was able to come through. Standing in now, Cliff Floyd, as he'll take a look at ball one. Tough situation early out on the mound, but if he can limit the damage right here, might build some confidence and get him rolling. The set and the 1-0 lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Come on, old man, boy. Fouled away. Two men are on with two men out. He struck him out, and it could have been worse. The inning over with only a run coming across to score. Marlins forced to settle for one. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. 
It's the Marlins one and the Phillies nothing. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. Leading off with the Phillies. The second baseman. Gene Segura. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey! Off the plate. One ball, one strike. Segura behind on a one and two count. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. The one-two is laid off for ball two. Soft grounder left side. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. The catcher, JT Real Muto. Digging in now for Philadelphia, JT Real Muto. First pitch of the at bat. Counts one and zero. Oh. The 1 0. Right. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. A ball that's carrying. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. And this throw gets away from him. Any hitter will tell you that a shot like that just feels different. It sounds different off the bat. See his arms get extended. Right arm tucked up against his body. Barrel the bat all over the ball. And he smokes it right off the wall at left center. A little more hang time, and that one probably gets out of here. At the plate, Shane Victorino. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. And he'll make it to third here on what will likely be ruled a passed ball. Looked like a four-seamer that just kept rising on him, and he couldn't get the mid up in time to catch it. Really no excuse for that. That'll go as a pass ball, and deservedly so. A 1 0 pitch. On the ground to the right side. Scooped up. And the throw goes to first for the out, but that'll be enough to get the run home as they pull back to even at 1 and 1. Good job there to put the ball on the ground and pick up the tying run. This one has the makings of being a close game until the very end. So here's the Phillies DH, Richie Ashburn. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. First offering on its way. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. You got to be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though there are two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. A ball and a strike to the Phillies' leadoff man. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Soft liner towards first. And no problem over there at first as he flags this one down to end the inning. So one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, all tied at one and one. Up next from Miami, Corey Dickerson. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Corey Dickerson. First pitch of the at-bat. 
And he fouls this one off. The wind up and the 0 1. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now a ball line softly down the right field line. Foul. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Ball inside. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Now here it comes. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And there's one away. Batting in. The right field. Now batting, Bat Trey Mancini. Baby. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball in there for a called strike. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. At the plate, Jonathan VR. Try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Oh. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Inside, ball one. The 1 0 home. It's hit very well to right. This one's hammered, and it's going to go. That one is gone. Solo shot here to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him. As the Marlins take the lead, it's now a 2-1 ball game. Well, after a long winter and a grueling spring, everyone is anxious to get the season started. But to start it off with a home run? There's no better way to get your campaign underway. He was rounding the bases thinking, hey, this is going to be a good year. So now to the plate, Juan Pierre. And it's fouled away. One for one after a single his first time up. Oh, and one count and the pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third, but that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Grounded weakly toward third. Schmidt's got to get rid of it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One for the Marlins on the solo shot. We've played two. Two to one now, Miami. Welcome back to Miami as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Jim Carlo Stanton now as we begin the top of the fourth. John Carlo Stanton. First pitch coming, here it is.
into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Lined into right, a base hit. Last pitch was a fastball. Tries to double up with the same piece of cheese, and it gets turned around. Nice piece of hitting. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. Oh. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0 oh home. A swing and a miss, strike one. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. On a line, that's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Man, that's surprising, Dan. This guy's flailing at stuff in the dirt and above his head to get to two strikes, and then he lays in the cook. Well, you would think after throwing two pitches out of the zone that he would triple up and throw a third one either up, down, or in and out, but that one right in the middle of the strike zone. Ramirez onto the grass. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now back the catcher, J.T. Ramirez. Digging in, JT Real Muto, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Burnett checks, now the pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0 and 1. Fourth inning of a 2 to 1 ball game. Real Muto behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. The next 0 2 pitch to him misses outside. Still 1 and 2. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. The one-two. Still a ball and two strikes. Runners are at first and second with one away. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Burnett working on 68 pitches to this point in the afternoon. The 3-2 pitch. Hit back up the middle. Over to VR. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So no runs on two base hits, no errors, and a runner left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Marlins lead this one two to one. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Marlins offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Stepping into the box, Pudge Rodriguez. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Curveball right on the black, taken right. for a strike. A good bend on that one as it's fouled away. Strike two. Right. 
Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Count even at 2-2 two and two to the Marlins catcher. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit to first. Taken in by Goldschmidt. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The left fielder, number 30. So the base is empty here with one away, and the free swinging Cliff Floyd will stand in. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a strike called in the upper part of the zone. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And that misses for ball two. Two and one now to Floyd. Three and one to the Marlins left fielder. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. The three and one pitch. Fastball too high. Ball four. The hitter, Corey. Next will be the designated Dickerson. hitter, Corey Dickerson. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. No balls and a strike to count. Two runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Fouled away. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. Man, that's a good take there on that 0-2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Working for the punch out and the offering. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at 2-2. Two and two. Runners on first with one down. He's running to first. A dive by Goldschmidt. Hats off to that one. The right fielder, Great diving stop down there at first to get the out. If that ball gets to the outfield, the whole complexion of this inning drastically changes. Into the box now, Trey Mancini, runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Two runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. And this one's in the dirt. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2-0. and oh. Hitters count. The pitch. A 
could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. He set the payoff pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Now at the plate, Jonathan Villar. He went deep in his first at-bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. The last at-bat, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Owen won the count. Ready with the 0-1. This is line to left. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. Hack on another here as the runner scores from second. Into the box, Juan Pierre as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's one for two in this one. The 1 0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Now the one and one pitch. Hops this one up. Stanton coming on, but this will land untouched. And another foul ball. Two down runners at first and second. Line drive, base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. I got to be honest, I'm shocked he went back to this pitch again. First one, he was on it and fouled it off. Second one, he did not miss. Stepping in now, Hanley Ramirez. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Comes set, the 0-1. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Ready with the 2-1. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Three and one, here it is. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and that'll get down for a base hit. One run scores. 
And the run is in to score from second. Make it 5-1. to one. Dan, from a pitcher's standpoint, that's a backbreaker. Two out, two RBI base hit right there. Awfully frustrating. You're trying to make some good pitches. You get two outs, and all of a sudden, you give up that big base hit that drives into frustrating for a pitcher. Adam Morgan answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Adam Morgan. Ready once again, Miguel Cabrera. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue in this inning. Matt, a hit here could really fire up that dugout. First delivery to him on the way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Stanton has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So they pick up three runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We played four full. The Marlins lead it five to one. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Ready now, Shane Victorino. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. 2-0 to the Philly center fielder. Three and oh now. Not the way you'd like to start this fifth inning, falling behind three and oh on the count. It's about time he starts throwing some strikes. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Late now is the designated hitter, Richie Ashburn. No hits to this point. First pitch on its way. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Machado into shallow left. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The batter, number 11. Short stop. Jimmy Waller. At the plate, Jimmy Rollins, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Well, this isn't his more accomplished side. As a general rule, he's a much better hitter from the right side, but they're looking for him to come through here, swinging the bat left-handed. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Rollins has all the necessary skills to play great defense on the left side of the infield and it makes him really fun to watch. He can pick it with the best of them but what sets him apart is the huge arm. It's accurate. It's incredibly strong. Certainly has the ability to uncork a throw and beat a runner when he needs to and it's impressive to watch. Yeah anybody that has the ability to go to their backhand and to absolutely fire a cannon across the infield is a huge asset to have. And he fouls this one off. Now a throw over by Burnett. A dive, but he's back. Now the 2-1 pitch. It's a fastball that misses. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. It's a 5-1 game here in inning number five. Stopped by the post office to get stamps on the way to mailing in that swing. It's three and two now. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. 
Dan, tell me how frustrating that is right there. He comes unglued the pitch before, and then he shortens his swing, and he's able to fight you off for a two-strike knock. Sometimes, Mark, that's how you can get fooled as a pitcher. You see that previous pitch, you see that big swing, and you're expecting another big swing, but what does he do? He shortens it up and hits a bullet for a base hit. And a high strike there, 0-1. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. And he misses with it one and one. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Now the one and one pitch. Misses, ball two. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Burnett checks. Now the pitch. And it's fouled away. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. When this thing left his bat, I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one hop the wall off the track, and he cruises into second with an RBI two-bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. Into the box now, Mike Schmidt, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Has a look, now the pitch. Rip down the first baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. Here it comes on nothing and two. Here's a pop-up now. Machado has a play. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Great scoring opportunity miss right there. You talk about frustration. Popping it up with two runners in scoring position. He'd like to get that one back. Ready for another chance? Giancarlo Stanton, a hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. Looked like he wanted to clobber that one, but it's one and one. Got to sit middle-middle when a guy's trying to pitch around you. If he's going to give you first base, take it. One and one. Here it is. And he misses again. Ball three. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3-1, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. And safe, says the first base umpire as the throw was too late. And the runner from third crosses the plate. And hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, Debo, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far.
in the dirt and block behind the plate. The runners will stay put. However, the count evens at one. One and two now. Fouled off. Runners at the corners, two men out. That misses and we're even at two and two. Boy, this has been a different guy in the fifth inning. First four innings on cruise control. Fifth inning, nothing seems to be able to work. He needs to find that focus back. Ready with the two and two. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. And he continues to labor here, coming up on 100 pitches in just the fifth inning. Boy, d -Row, this is a spot right now. If you're an offense, you start licking your chop. Pitch count starting to get up into the fifth inning. They could be sitting on some big knocks right here. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. You're looking for something middle of the plate right here. He doesn't have a great feel for his breaking stuff. Maybe he hangs something. Now a hard liner. Line to the right side. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. The relay. The throw, and he's tagged out at second. That'll end the inning, but they do score one on the play. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Marlins five and the Phillies four. of the inning now so to the plate the Marlins DH Corey Dickerson 0 for 2 for him to this point he's ready here's the first offering good bike to the slider and he takes strike one now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there Here's the 0-1 pitch. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hole of 0-2. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing, and this ball is crushed straight away center field. And it's gone as they add still another. So it's a solo shot to dead center. First home run of the campaign for him, and it's now 6-4. to four. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. The right fielder, number 18, Trey. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. Come on, Come set and the 0-1. This one's also hit well. Deep down the right field line. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. Second baseman. Jonathan VR. 
will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. As we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. First delivery to him on the way. No, that's down. One and no pitch on the way. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. Sliced hard but foul. Look out over there. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Got him. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hoped with that home run, but I've got to now give him credit for flushing it and coming back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. Yeah. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. Standing in now, Juan Pierre runs up and gets this one down. Throw not in time, and he's in there with his third hit of the afternoon. The batter, number two, shortstop, Hadley. Rob Pierre. Now a move over to first. In now, Hanley Ramirez. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. The 1 0 home. A runner on first with two away. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. And another throw over, and he'll get back in safely. Now the one and one pitch. At the ball. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Oh, Three and one to the Marlins' middle infielder. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Now a throw over to first, just keeping him close. Runners off for second. Strike taken to throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Now the three and two pitch. 
swing and he pops him up. Rollins shading to his right. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. One for the Marlins on the solo shot. Top of the order due up to start the seventh. It's a two run lead now. It's six to four. Striding in to start the ninth, JT Real Muto, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. The 1-0 is a sinker that gets a swinging strike. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Hey. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. At the plate now, Shane Victorino. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Now the 1-0. Oh. Ah. That was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. So the lineup clips over and digging in, Richie Ashburn. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First delivery to him on the way. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a late bunt attempt here, but he misses strike two. A crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Philly down to their last strike. And he'll manage to fight this one foul over near the left-hand side, and that'll keep the count steady at 0-2. And he missed with it. It's 1-2. and two. A 
has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. The catch is made and the Marlins move to 1-0 and on the young season as this ball game is over. Yeah, they needed him a little bit earlier in this one, but he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four out save, job well done. Six to four, the outcome today. The Fish took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. A.J. Burnett earns his first win of the season. Robin Roberts couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. Ryan Stanek gets a four-out save his first of the year. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time.